Well, the preparations have been made for the interior of the beehive, and that's what I'm going to work on in this episode here of the Bob SMP. Ooh, look at all this. It looks pretty good, I think. Now, the top is a white stained glass. That is normal glass over here. And that is my temporary exit right now. And the reason I have that there is I would have left the very top open over here, but sometimes the bees will float all the way up and then they have a knack for escaping. So I don't know, like literally sometimes when they pop out, they go whoop and then they just leave. So I don't know what the deal is there, but whatever. So this is what I'm working with for now. There is not an exit this way that goes all the way up. Basically, that's what I want to do is have like a pathway that makes it easy to get down into the beehive here. So that's the idea. Now for the interior, what I had in mind was to do kind of like what I had before I showed you the giant oak tree that was in the server. I want to do that in here, except make it a lot more uh, dynamic, make it a little bit better and make it so it's going to be existing entirely inside of here, but I would like it to be eventually outside. And I'll kind of show you what I mean by that. But I'm going to start with the different logs that are over here, spruce and oak. We're going to mix them. I know that's a little bit, you know, unsavory depending. There's some lag going on in the server. That's great. Look at all this, all this lag. It's beautiful. But basically I want to make a tree that goes almost all the way to the top there, but doesn't go past it, at least for right now. So this tree that I made before was not very uh, good. This one I want to be at least a little bit, a little bit better. And I want there to be an interior of some kind that I can store stuff in. So let's go with, um, not, I'm not gonna do a crafting table quite yet, but I'm gonna make the basic structure of the tree where it's gonna end and then decorate it from the outside there. So I want this to be basically uh, a three by three area on the inside here, something like this, yeah. So the tree is going to go like all the way up. This is going to be the trunk of the tree and it is going to be just this main color over here. Now the, the, uh, the, the more dark colors of the tree are going to be, uh, kind of like the roots and whatnot. Actually just kidding. It's that color entirely there. Okay. So I wanted to make this, this color and vice versa. So I probably need to get some more logs. I did not get nearly enough logs for this uh, project here. And that actually looks way too thick of a, a trunk, actually. So let me get out of here. I'm gonna get some more of these logs and deck out the tree a little bit more. Yeah, it's not the best way to get out of here, but it's a way to get out of here, you know what I mean? Okay, got that. Uh, there's a lot more oak logs now, and I guess it's gonna be a two by two area on the inside because yeah, having it three by three is gonna be a little bit too much. Not quite what I'm looking for right now. And then I wanna make this as boxy as possible, at least for right now, because eventually it's going to look very detailed and very nice, but you got to get your basic structure going first before anything else. So luckily this is all decked out. Well, except right there for monsters to not spawn in. So that's good. I kind of want to go uh, maybe two more. Yeah, that's going to be the absolute maximum height of the tree right here. Now, unfortunately, some bees are over here. I brought the other bee nest that was outside and I brought it back into here. I'm definitely gonna need a whole lot more oak leaves, but I'm just gonna put these right here for right now. And that is the absolute very tippity top of at least the tree portion, but obviously the leaves go a little bit higher than this. So I'm gonna make this uh, dense. It's gonna be, as we say in the industry, thickly settled around these parts and I'm gonna basically do scaffolding and go all the way across here. So the tree itself, I, I could probably actually lower the height a little bit. I want to make this actually good. Now, is that actually going to happen? Who knows, right? But I'm going to try my best and hopefully it ends up being decent. I never actually use scaffolding, so I got to make more of a habit out of doing that. But uh, yeah, so that's basically what I had in mind for at least this for right now making it just a nice bee sort of sanctuary in general. Um, I need to look at Minecraft tree techniques because like, I, you know, as much as I have played Minecraft in my life, I don't know every single trick in the book, really. Come on, there we go. They're all named Buzz, by the way. I'm assuming that's a Brandino thing that he did there. But uh, yeah, the, the tree should basically extend to be a little bit more outward. Like you can see kind of where I'm going already, right? Like the kind of idea. It's going to go all the way around toward this way. 
and I want it to puff out and look really nice. But the, even with the scaffolding here, it just doesn't give you a good sense for like what you want to do, you know? Um, I, and I hate the way scaffolding works in this game. Like in Bedrock, I feel like there's a much better way to use a scaffolding than in like how it is here in Java. Like it's those little, little things about Java and Bedrock that I just can't like, can't really wrap my head around. Like right here, right? So I place it on the side down here, but if I place it on the side over here, now it goes up. But if I do this here, wait, so how do I put it? For some reason, putting it on the top makes it go this way. It's just weird, man. The way that the scaffolding works, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not cut out to do any of this stuff by comparison of everything else, you know? I'm like, I'm looking up <laughs> to see if I can find the scaffolding in the air. Okay, that's how you know. It's already been a long day, and I literally just started. So, you know, that's fine by me. Uh, gonna make the tree very poofy. You gotta, you gotta add depth and whatnot this way. The scaffolding is already too close here. Like, I mean, that's a start, but it's not 100% where I want it to be. Let's say it goes... Okay, so I gotta aim for the bottom, right? Gotta aim for the bottom. I'm basically just assuming things can work the way that they are instead of actually learning anything. Which is really my fault. I should be a bit more, uh, you know, better about those things in terms of learning new things. Because learning new things is a way to do it. Like, see this right here? Like, I want to stack these on top, right? One. But how, how can I do that here? It's by holding shift and then down. Okay, but like holding shift... I don't know. It's just... Uh, it's, it's old man O'Brien here coming at you, learning the newest Minecraft techniques, scaffolding that's been in the game since like 2012 or something. If it's not from 2009, I don't remember it and it doesn't matter. All right. If it's, if it's, you know, new technology for me, it shouldn't be relevant at all. All right. So this is a relatively decent start. Let's take a look at this back over here. Uh, that looks uh, kind of sort of low key awful a little bit. I need to add more uh, not verticality. I, yeah, I kind of, sort of. So basically making this, instead of it being like a bulb on top, I need to make it a bit more uh, flat like this. So let's say I add another layer down here. I want to make it flat in the center portion here. So that way it kind of extends down a little bit more. It does kind of look like a section of the tree is cut out, which is kind of what, uh, what I'm looking for here. All right. So I'm going to go back up here, and I, yeah, again, I need to have more le- uh, This scaffolding, man, I- uh, I just don't like it. It gets in the way. <laughs> it just gets in the way. All right, there we go. Up to here, and just to make the mechanics, like the way you- the gra- mm, Okay, whatever. It's just- <laughs> It's just me being old. I need to be better about these things, all right? Uh, mm, uh. You know, now I understand why, like, okay, now you extend it this way. Like, I want to I wanna have it go this way. I want to have it go out. How do I do that? <laughs> if I just have this right here, that should be fine, right? Yeah, all right, whatever. How does it look from back over here? Better? Decent? Okay, one thing I want to do is like I did on the last oak tree. I do want to have some logs kind of spouting down right here. So it's not entirely... Uh, even in one way or another. So then it goes into the ground like this. The the roots, rather. The roots are going to go all like this. Yep. Okay, we're going to go out a little bit here. We're going to go out. Uh, this one should technically be out this way and then rotate. Like, you got to add little, little bits like this. Although it's not 100% done, right? It's just, uh, it's just a start here. So let's do this. Right, so that adds a little more flavor to it, okay? It's adding a little bit more. It kind of looks like a Winnie the Pooh tree, or is that just me? I kind of get like a Winnie the Pooh vibe. I mean, that might be a nice thing to add as like a swing set here, but yeah, all right. Um, this could be a entrance to the back room, right? Kind of like what I did in the last oak tree. There was like a back room area, so we do this, pop this over here. So that way I can add storage if I really wanted to. I am going to illuminate this because that would be the very smart thing to do right over toward here. And no, I don't need to add any more of those. That should be fine because it's not it's supposed to be like a 
a nice environment for the bees, not 100% accurate to what it's supposed to be outside, but a decent idea here. What I would really want to do is add a, a hole in the middle of the tree and put like a bird in there or something, like a like a, I guess a parrot, because that would make sense, but I don't know what block I could add. I think I would need to add like a black stone fence or wall in the middle of the tree. I'm talking like right in here. So let's say this goes right here, right? There would be something right there. So that way it could look like there was a, a black hole right there for a bird to perch on. And actually I could go do that right. I mean, there is some black stone nearby here. All right. So let me, okay. Dang it. You know what? I'm just going to do this <laughs> instead of Instead of firing a rocket constantly, I'm just going to do this. We're going to do this all into here so that way I can climb up like a normal person instead of like a like a madman. All right, there we go. So don't tell Eli, but we're going to steal some of his stuff. We're going to go over here. Uh, everybody's lurking on the server right now, but he has this giant blackstone prison that he's literally done nothing with for months. So instead of going all the way over to... Mm, did he take it down? No. Did he take it down? Is that... I think he took it down. Is this it? This might be it. Ah, uh, the lag. No! You know you're lagging with the Elytra because you're, like, floating on the ground like this. That's how you know. All right? Just so it's clear. Yep, he took all of it. All right. So that's stellar. There was this giant prison that was right here. There was, like, lava and magma and stuff. Is it in here? Ah! Okay. <laughs> Is it in here? No, it's just random red shulker box. Nice job. Excellent. Let's check in the sorter and see if there's any uh, black stone in here through the slime. Or it's not slime anymore, it's just water. I think it's a lot less fun. I wanted it to be slime, but they're like, oh no, we're not going to do that. That's way too fun. Uh, things are being in the auto sorter right now. You can hear the clickety clackities going on. All right, so let's take a look around here. We need to find Blackstone, which is over here, right? It should be. Is there anything in here? Anything in here? That's cobblestone. That's not quite what I'm looking for. Nothing? Really? There is no... Where did the entire prison he built went? Oh, this is Black... What is this? Well, oh, that's the under underground stuff. Oh... Oh, yep, that makes sense. Okay. Well, that's cool. Bye, Eli. Let's go into here. I'm going to put some stuff in the sorter because I can. Uh, this stuff, this stuff. Yeah, why not? Shears, I don't need any more of those. Actually, I am going to need more of those. Wait, hold on. I need to get these again because I need to get more, uh, what's it called? Leaves off the trees. Here are the clickety clackities. And here's the map, by the way. All sorts of things that are around here and still to be worked on. There's a prison. Wait, no, the prison wasn't updated. So it was there, but he took all of it down and now it's just a vacant spot. Okay, so I'm not hallucinating. It was there, but now it's not. So even with this um, specific thing that I have installed, the I forget what it's called, but it makes it a lot easier. Actually, can I take one of these? He's going to take one of these guys. I can't, he can't hear me right now, but I need to take one of you eventually. Put you into the, the B area there. But anyways, um, it just wasn't updated. And with this, it makes it a lot smoother for things to run. Not at 100% all the time, but it makes it a lot easier than it would be in any other circumstance there. So, yeah. Uh, luckily, I know where my house is past the giant hole because I can just go to the beacon not worry about whatever needs to be loaded in, because there we go. It should be good right here. Yep, there it is. Awesome. So I went all this way literally for just this, which probably isn't all that necessary, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to make a crafting table and just pop it here instead of needing to walk into the house constantly, because that's smart. What I was looking for is this, the Blackstone Wall. So this wall... If I place this into the tree, it should make it, like, look like a hole. Kind of. Kind of, sort of? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So the bird, ideally, would be perched up right here as if it's like a robin looking out of the tree, you know? Could probably use a different material, but the black stone is going to have to do for now. Uh, I am 
still not satisfied with the way that this looks. So I'm going to work on this a little bit more. These over here, the oak leaves, the oak leaves, the oak leaves, not oak leaves. Um, I, you know what I should do? I should plant an actual tree and see what the, what the vibe of it is. Cause this just looks like a ball on top of the, the, the tree here. It doesn't look like an actual tree. You know what I mean? Maybe it's because this isn't out more. It needs to be down toward it. It needs to go down this way, right? There's a little bit more like this, I think. Is that better? Let's take a look here. See what we got. Is that better? No, it still looks, why does it look so bad? Well, I mean, clearly this section's not filled in. <laughs> So let me let me go find more uh, leaves. It's a it's a learning process. All right. It's a learning process. One thing at a time. So all these trees. Yep. Actually, these over here are going to do just fine. I need where the shears. Actually, I can make new ones. Bam. Right here. Cool. So basically getting all these shears can wear out super, super quickly. But having them is super handy, especially for getting all these leaves and whatnot. Like I went through what, a fourth of the durability right there? Almost instantly just from one tree. But you end up getting like a stack's worth, almost an entire stack's worth of leaves. So it makes it super nice in case you want to get a lot of leaves to make a big giant tree or whatever. Um, if I were super smart, I would plant a normal... Uh, can it just go? It's not going to go. Yep, now it's going to go, and it's going to basically kill me. Um, I would plant a normal tree and see how well that would work inside of here but i'm not going to do that right now i am going to make it look nice and pretty though because i can and that gives me a better read on the light levels around here which is awesome so okay let's go for the scaffolding once again have this on standby bada bing bada boom gonna do this finally getting used to how to use the scaffolding old man o'brien here coming at you all right got this down toward wait no i'm gonna take this off right here and now it looks awful on this side it looks awful everywhere I go, you know? It just, you just can't, can't quite win it, all right? Go here, a little bit down more. How about this? How does this look? Does it look any better? No, why does it look so bad? It just looks like a giant puffball. Is it the inconsistency of the tree? Like, I mean, the, the standard Minecraft trees are pretty boring as well but like that looks especially boring you know no nah, i mean i can't i can't really tell it, i think it looks okay i mean i need to not be as hard on myself obviously but like you know you got to be real with yourself you got to not sugarcoat it you know if you're not doing a great job you got to improve it you know um let's see what i can do i can do something a little bit maybe it's because it looks way too clean right here there's got to be something else factored in to make it look a bit more natural. It's probably what the uh, the key is right here. So let's say we do, ooh, a little bit more of the roots toward this way. Uh, I have plenty of oak logs, so that's good. Uh, that's gonna go this way, and then out this way, right? Try one more right here. So again, that's supposed to be the roots on the ground. You know what also is the issue? There's not a lot of um, bone mealed grass around here to make it look like wild grass. I think that might add a little bit to the flavor as well. So let me go grab that stuff real quick. Gonna get rid of these two because I can. I'm gonna find some skelebros to go after. See if I can get rid of them. Skeletons, I see you right here. Enderman, don't hurt me. No, 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 wait. Wait, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I forgot I'm on hard difficulty. That might be a problem. We'll see. Uh, how'd that work? I got four. That's plenty. Don't need any more than that. Goodbye. See? That's it. You just need to have a fortune whatever sword, and you are so unbelievably good, you have no idea. Bam. Look at this. 16 bo- Where'd it go? Oh, 12 bone meal. I'm like, wait, what? I went from the die to the whatever. All right, going to get rid of these at least for right now because these are going to spawn in some flowers. Yeah, wildflowers, tall grass. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see how this looks by comparison now. I mean, it looks more homey, but it's not quite there yet. I want to do some grass leveling here. 
So instead of this being an entirely flat surface, I did want to make it kind of like a plains biome where there is some sense of elevation in some way, shape, and form over toward this way. So the maximum height is going to be three, and it's going to go out like this way, be totally uneven in that sense, and it's going to go right over here, right? So you get the idea here. I'm going to put some uh, torches under here. Sorry for the flickering back and forth. Just in case anything spawns, it won't, but you never know. All right. So it's going to be surrounded all toward this way. And go, go, go. Just like this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just like that. So it's a little bit of verticality here for the sake of being uh, different, you know? So that looks pretty good. I could add a standard tree in here. I have no saplings, so that's not great. I'm going to add at least one tree, or I can probably swing two. Let's see. There's enough room, right? I have only five rockets left. Awesome. Stellar. Let's go back over here. I'm really running low on... Actually, no, I'm not even a little bit. I was going to say I'm running low on trees over here, but that's not the case even a little bit. Let's see if I'll find any trees. Fun fact for you. Make sure you have an open inventory space in your hotbar so you can actually see when saplings uh, drop down. Because otherwise, when you're doing this, you, you sometimes sort of can't really notice when a sapling will drop. So right now, I got none, right? So it'll appear in the hotbar first right down there. Um, and you can see it. Bam. Just like that. Uh, having... I only need two, right? Where's... It, where's it? Two? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, ooh, look at that lava. Spicy. But I could have used, what's it, the shears there, but it's not going to give me the saplings like I need. It's just going to give me uh, the leaves, which is fine, but, you know, whatever. Go. It's going to work. Okay, I somehow took damage. No idea how, but whatever. Uh, this tree I'm going to put right here. It's going to be one of these. There we go. Nice. Okay. And then a smaller tree is going to go over here somewhere. Because, again, the entrance is going to be right here. You're going to enter, and you're going to see this. Bam. Just like that. Um, basing it off of this tree... Okay, hold on. Wait. Before I do... Before I look at this, plant this tree, it'll grow eventually, right? Okay. So the thing with this tree is that there isn't a cut... There's a cutoff point at the bottom here. So the cutoff point is this bottom on this level right here. It cannot go any lower than this. It doesn't need to trickle down like how I'm doing it. And it goes out at least by two times the width of the trunk. Okay, that is a good measure to have. So, if I break some of this over here... Actually, I like this area. It feels very, uh, very cozy. Very nice, you know? Nothing's gonna bother me. Very, uh, at peace around here. Alright, so this is gonna be extended all the way out like this. Okay, let's just get, like, a baseline level for this sort of area, right? So it's going to pop out kind of like this, two times the width of the trunk, which is basically out toward this way. I'm going to fill it in a little bit more. Okay, how does this look? Maybe if I add some, just a little bit, just a little bit to give it some flavor. Okay, how about these apples here? How does this look? Better? Let's take a look. Got to get rid of the scaffolding, obviously. It's totally fine. I mean, it looks better. But now it kind of looks like a top hat. <laughs> it looks like a top hat. Uh, how about right here? And here? Here? There? I, it needs to have something to it, right? How does that look? Bad? I feel like it looks bad. I don't know. Maybe I should just have more confidence in myself, but that'd be too easy of a solution, right? I mean, I don't I don't hate it. Like, if you look at these trees here, right? There's There's weird sections of it over here. Like, it needs to be a bit more weird. You know, like a freaky tree. Basically, that's what what this ends up being is a freakazoid of a tree. Go over here, trim this up a little bit. That should be okay, right? Uh, oh, also one thing I want to do real quick: use the ice pick here. I want to make this look natural, so I'm not harming the bees by doing this. By the way, but this is gonna go right in the tree, right over here. Okay, so it's gonna hang from actual. Uh, locations. It's not just going to be floating in the air. One's going to be over here. I take this one. Uh, again, this does not tick off the bees. It doesn't do any of that. It's just uh, totally natural and fine for it to happen. It does not bug them at all, quite literally. All right. 
Uh, the second tree is going to go right there. So that's where another one of these beehives are going to go. And I mean, I don't hate that. I don't hate it. So that's step number one, right? As long as you don't hate the thing, you're making some progress, right? Going to get some more of these roses down. And I do want to replant these, the rose bush. Or those are poppies, rather. So the poppies I'm going to place along here. Now, obviously, you can't have bees around here without having sunflowers to pollinate them. So I'm going to try to find some sunflowers. Those are in a particular biome that... Um, I do not have access to right now. I mean, they're around, but not entirely as much as you would think so. I got to go over here. I also got to get more rockets. That's going to be an issue. So let me see if I can find some sunflowers and pop them over where I need to. And if I run out of gunpowder here, that's going to be an issue. Well, we have a lot of gunpowder. That's for sure. Excellent. That's probably, yep, that's a lot of gunpowder in there wonderful absolutely uh that's what we say in the industry poggers okay that is poggers now i need to find uh papel the zepepa to figure out where the rockets are made so you got to look down on these uh you know things here these item frames to find out where things are which is totally fine but things are kind of sorted by category as i explained before the handheld stuff should probably be over here, I would assume. Like, yeah, you kind of get an idea for where things are eventually, but I don't see what I need right here. Uh, the extra storage ends up going somewhere, I think, over here. Yeah, this is like the etc. stuff over this way. So it's all sorts of whatever you could ever possibly need around here. But uh, yeah, cool. So what I'm going to do is actually just get out of here for now. I'm going to use the paper that I can find at a different location over here. There's all sorts of paper that can be used to make stuff. Ah, oh, I got some sugar cane inside of here. All right, cool. So over here, I can make some paper by doing this, and then rockets by doing this. And that's three stacks of rockets immediately. Cool. There needs to be like a infinite rocket mod or something because I keep running out of rockets constantly, and I need to get more and more and more. Uh, the sugarcane farm that is over here, it ends up being, ah, uh, actually, you could harvest all this stuff. I tried to do this recently, and it was like, hey, uh, we got nothing left for you. So um, it ends up going and going, but there's some sugarcane here. So what I'm gonna do is basically just take it over toward this way, put it into my chest so that way I have access to it whenever I want to. And what was I looking for previously? I to oh, sunflowers. Yep, sunflowers. Totally, thousand percent forgot about sunflowers. Yep, I was too focused on getting rockets that I forgot the sunflowers, which I may end up taking them from my tree over here. I'm allowed to go in here, over here. You know, no one else is allowed to go in here except me, and there's no sunflowers. So I guess the loving was too much, but I'll take that. So, cool. All right, that's a, a new mission objective, which I think the, the biome might be over here, actually. I think it's like relatively close. Like sunflower fields are their own biome and they are not necessarily finite, but you know, they're not uh, searchable willy nilly. And it looks like I'm not gonna find them relatively easily over here. So that's unfortunate, but eventually, I'll find them and I'll put them in the bee enclosure because yeah, you gotta, you kinda sorta have to have them. At least in my opinion. Sunflowers are very beautiful. They grow to be very tall. And fun fact about them is they always face the direction of the sun. That's why they're called sunflowers. So, yeah, pretty interesting there. And luckily I found my way back. I think the lag can be attributed to multiple people being on the server. Maybe it's because my internet connection's not the best either. But, like, yeah, this isn't the ideal way to play the game, obviously. All right, gunpowder and all that. Actually, no, I can take all this stuff, and I can make rockets out of it. Okay. This. There we go. This. You just keep doing this over and over and over again. Actually, I can't. Hold on. Uh, one, two. 
Like I don't need all of this stuff. The 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 bow I just I need to have I need to have that on me. The the arrow at least. At least one arrow to make that work properly. All right, don't need this many rockets in one go, that's for sure. Uh, make all these. Cool. Make even more of these. I have as many rockets as I could basically ever need, especially with the way the farms work, so it works out tremendously well. Um, golden care. Okay, hold on. This slot I need to always dedicate to rockets. This is always to food. And then everything else can just kind of wait as it is here, all right? So there we go. That can all be in here. And now it's ready to rock and roll. Cool. So back down into here. I'm going to do some final touches on this for right now. And Ooh, that second tree grew. Nice. Nice. Okay. I don't like how it's super low. So I'm going to trim this level off of it because I want to be able to walk under it. And I want to place a beehive under here. Now I got to make sure, and you got to make sure when you're having the bees all around here, you don't hit them. Because if you hit the bees and they're going to get mad at you, and then all of the bees, literally all of the bees are going to die. And you certainly do not want to do that. So I'll take the ice pick here, grab that. This is going to go into here, but uh, bang, we'll go this way on it. Yeah, right there. And now every single one of the beehives doesn't need to be facing the same way, but I guess it's good for it to do so. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put this in here because that would make the most sense. Have this, bam, just like that. Another torch in here because I can. Is there anything else I can get right now that is necessary? Beehives, not necessarily. Uh, the honey blocks, I'm going to use these as decoration. I'm going to use them kind of sporadically. Uh, they are meant to be super sticky, so you don't want to like necessarily jump on them. But I'm going to put one underneath here, so that way it looks like the, the honey is dripping from the nest onto here, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, not necessarily for all of them, just for decoration's sake. Um, ideally, what I think would be really cool is if there was like different, hmm, I don't know if I want to do this though. If I had different levels over here where there's like bees that could pollinate at different levels up here, or maybe a second level so that way I can have um, the man-made bee nests around here to harvest the honey from, I think that would be cool, but we'll see where things go. Maybe it'll be up toward that way. I don't quite know how it's going to go, but for now, I think it looks great. So with all that being said, I'm going to light up some torches here on these trees, and that's going to be it for this area, at least for now. I am very proud of how this came out. It's nothing crazy, nothing super fancy, but I do like how it came out. And uh, yeah, hopefully you do too. So it's, yeah, it's basic, but I like it. And with that being said, I'm going to get out of here for now and see what else I can do in Minecraft. Thank you for joining me for the Bob SMP. I'm going to dig my way out of here and make a pathway eventually. It just turned into daytime, and there's a cow on the roof and a bee. All right. Talk to you again next time for more of the SMP. Be good to yourselves. All right. Bye.